she started on the yellow brick road and is she ended are you hearing me and if God started us on this road of life then he going to take us to the end of life here's a living testimony right here the pastor is a 95 years are y'all hear me I'm going to come back to him in a minute touch your neighbor and say amen look to Jesus hello somebody and so he said, the author and finish of our faith, who for the joy was set before us, hallelujah, him, amen, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is what? Set down, not on the left, honey, but where? On the right. Now, Pastor Mars, why was he set? How come he just couldn't sit on the left? Uh, why he had to sit on the right? Honey, this simply signify power. Somebody say power. Have y'all ever heard the expression, this is my right-hand man, this is my right-hand woman? That means that person has been given the power, the authority to do whatever I tell them. Are you hearing me today? And so if Jesus was on the left side, ain't no power there. Are you hearing me today? But he's on the right side. That's why he said, I have, when he appeared to the disciples, I have all power where? In heaven and in earth. Guess what faith, uh, apostolic faith? He got power right here in Ringo. Hello, somebody. Right here in Danville. Amen. Over back in Hampton. Are y'all hearing me? Everywhere in Virginia, Lynchburg, and amen, and Martinville. Hello, somebody. He got all power in heaven and in earth. So wherever I go, I don't have to worry. All I got to do is live right and recognize when I live right, I activate his power in my life. Shout hallelujah, somebody. Let's go back to our scripture text now. We get ready to get out of here in a minute. Praise the Lord. So in our scripture text, Psalm 37, Psalm 34, saints, the psalm has shared two thoughts with us. Number one, he shares throughout his life, he's an older man now. He's been through some things. Hello. And I don't care how old you are, amen, in this time and in this season, if you save tonight, you've been through some things. If you save tonight, you have a testimony of Jesus Christ. Time would not allow, if we gave one of these mics out and let everybody come up here, we had to put a time limit on you because you just couldn't tell it all. And some of the things that you would tell people wouldn't believe it. But thank God we serve a God that has what? All power. I'm the right person that I believe I am. And so the scholars were trying to get across briefly as he, amen, came to, to the end of his life. And he said, amen, he'd been through a lot of things. And then when we look at the beginning of the psalm, the writer of this psalm is David. And those of us who know his testimony by the scripture know that he had been through a lot. Hello, somebody. No, he had did some things and brought some trouble on himself. No, he had, amen, didn't do some things. Saul tried to kill him and his son rose again. He had a lot of things going on, but when it was all said and done, tell your neighbor, when it's all said and done, you're going to have a testimony. Are y'all hearing me tonight? And so David began to tell, amen, Israel, I have been young and now am old. Help me, Holy Ghost. I think of the pastor tonight. He was young, but now he's old, even though he don't act like an old man. Amen. But he is, amen, still in the house. Say amen, somebody. Somebody point him and say, he's still in the house. Uh, David said, I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. So what David was trying to let the people know, all that I've been through and all that I've witnessed, those that have walked upright before the Lord, those that have lived holy, those that have lived godly, those refused to worship idol gods those that did not change from the worship of the Jehovah God amen I've seen God bless them I've seen God keep them even their children honey it ain't just about you and I we got to live holy for our children's sake are you hearing me today the Bible said raise up a child in the way he should go and when he's old he won't depart are you hearing me tonight so it ain't just about you getting blessed but your life is 
committed to them being blessed and their generation and the generation after them until the Lord come. Say amen somebody. And then David goes over to Psalm 34. And though although the righteous will be confronted by many afflictions, the Lord has promised to bring them out of everyone. Say amen somebody. And so he encourages the saints. He says in verse 19 of Psalm 34, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Honey, I guarantee you again, if I give this mic out, every last one of us can run up to the front and tell what we've been through. Uh, not just one, not just 20, uh, but many have been my afflictions. Uh, I'm not just talking about almost 52 years of living, uh, but when I look back over last year, uh, but the psalm writer said, my soul looked back and wonder uh, how I got over. Uh, how did you get over, Pastor Moss? Uh, well, I really didn't get over, but what happened was I just lived right. Uh, oh, I didn't change in my change. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. When your life change, you can't change. When people change, you can't change. When your money get funny and your change get strange, you can't change. Are y'all hearing me today? When they put you up in one day and put you down the next, you can't change. Are you hearing me today? You go to the doctor, the report is good. And when you go back, the report is bad. You can't can't change and you change uh, because the text said many of the afflictions uh, of the righteous uh, but the Lord uh, somebody say but the Lord uh, he will deliver uh, and Paul told somebody he told Timothy uh, he said and the Lord uh, will deliver me out of every trial uh, you got to understand honey uh, you got to believe God's word uh, it doesn't matter what you face uh, if you're living right uh, you are already won the victory uh, through disappointment, uh, through hardship, uh, amen, through tests, uh, through trial and tribulation. Uh, you already got the victory. Uh, you just can't change uh, in your change uh, when the devil tempts you uh, and when you feel like throwing up your hands, uh, when you feel like throwing your Bible uh, out the window, uh, when you feel like forsaking the church, uh, when you feel like uh, walking away from your calling. Uh, you got to tell the devil, uh, many are the afflictions uh, of the righteous, uh, but the Lord, uh, somebody say the Lord, uh, he will uh, tell somebody, uh, he will uh, tell your neighbor, uh, he will uh, bring me out. Uh, clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout glory to God. And honey, when I think of this text, I think of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They had a chance to become idolaters, but they said, we're not going to bow to no statue. Oh, y'all know the story. And when Amen Nebuchadnezzar found out, they were brought before the king. He said, I'm going to give you one more chance, amen, to get it right. But they did, he didn't know. They was all already right uh, with God. Uh, don't let the devil blackmail you. Uh, don't let the devil intimidate you. Uh, don't let the devil fool you. Uh, tell the devil I'm already right uh, with God. Uh, do what you want to do. Uh, for God I live uh, and for God I die. Uh, somebody say yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Somebody shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory to God. Hallelujah. Honey, Daniel was another one. Ah, help me, Holy Ghost. See, the devil don't want you to pray. They attacked his prayer life. Ah, but Daniel, they put the decree out. They knew he prayed. See, when you really live and say, the devil know your life. He know when you pray. 
He know when you give. He know when you witness. He know when you're praising. He know when you're worshiping. He know your life. He gonna try to set a trap so that you can back up. But instead of backing up, Daniel went forward. The Bible said when he found out about the decree, he went back to his house, opened the window. He did the same thing. Are y'all hearing me tonight? That he always did. Got down on his knees, faced Jerusalem three times a day and called on the name of the Lord. Honey, don't let the devil back you up. Don't let the devil push you around. For God I live and for God I die. If I live right, heaven, heaven belong to me. Shout hallelujah somebody. Clap your hands somebody and give him praise. Come on give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Enoch was another one. The Bible said he walked with God and God took him. Help me Holy Ghost. Honey you can't walk with God if you ain't going to be right. Oh Lord save me tonight. You can't play games with God. You can't play tricks. You can't bamboozle or hoodwink God. You can't try to fool God. Uh, you can fool some people some of the time. Uh, honey, but 